Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So in this video, I'm going to talk about three things that you're doing that make you look needy to women. All right. So number one is calling or texting a chick too much. All right. Now, I talk about this all the time when I say when you get a girl's number, all you need to do is either call or text her to set up a date and that's it. And then you see her on the date or you call her maybe the day before the day of the date to confirm that the date is still happening. But the thing is what a lot of guys will do, let's say if they meet a girl on Monday, they get her phone number and they say, hey, you know, let's get together on Friday. She's like, cool, let's get together on Friday. And then so what they'll do is they'll text her on Tuesday, they'll text her on Wednesday, they'll text her on Thursday. You know, So they're texting her every day, texting her a whole bunch of shit. Hey, how was your day? How's it going? What'd you have for lunch? You know, are you feeling okay? Like all this extra shit. And all it does is it makes you look needy. It makes you look like you need her to, to, to call you, to talk to you. You need all this attention and it, you know, makes you look insecure. So what I say to guys is, listen, just get the number, set the date and see her on the date while you're, if you're calling and texting all the time, it's going to make you look needy, right? Number two, the number two thing that's going to make you look needy is when you are trying to touch a chick too much, right? Now, what does this mean, right? Now, let me say this first. When you're flirting with a girl, it's good to touch her, right? But when you're touching her, it's to see and you know if she's responding well to your touch. So it's sort of like a technique you can use to see if a girl is feeling you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you touch her to sort of see if she's, you know, feeling you. So let's say you're flirting with a girl and you, you know, you grab her hand, you touch her hand, and then you're holding her hand and then you're seeing if she's gonna keep her hand there or if she's gonna move the hand away, right? So that's the purpose of you touching her, right? But when you're touching a girl and and and, and looking needy by doing it is when you are the type of guy who's touching her where it seems like you're just trying to cop a feel. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, you know, let's say if you're chilling and you're, you know, with a group of friends or whatever, and let's say one of your friends has some girl there that you don't really know or something like that. And, you know, you're you're sort of like, hey, you know, she's hugging everybody. And then you're like, oh, hey, what's up? Where's my hug at? And then you're like trying to grab her and hug her. And you're like, hey, where's my hug at? Because you want to hug her so bad, you want to touch her so bad, which is why you're trying to get that hug. You understand? And that comes off as needy. You understand? It comes off as like you're trying so hard to really touch her. You understand? Or, you know, you're talking to a girl or something and you're flirting with her and, you know, you're you're trying to put your arm all around her or on her side and you're like laughing and, and, and you know, giggling and all this other stuff and joking around and you're just sort of like touching her, you know, putting your arm around her, trying to put your arm on her shoulder, tapping on her shoulder. So you're looking like you're trying so hard to cop a feel or to get that feel. You understand what I'm saying? So there's a difference between touching a girl to while you're flirting with her to see how responsive she is to your touch versus you trying to just cop a feel or cop some feels and, and make that happen. So that makes you look needy, right? Now, number three is when you are basically, uh, you know, putting up with a woman flaking on you. You understand what I'm saying? So if you're supposed to see some chick and she flaked out on the date, right? Now, I always, I usually say, look, if a chick flakes once, I'm done, right? But, you know, you, I would say the most you can give her is one ch one more chance, right? So, you know, shit comes up, whatever it is, what it is, right? So let's say you're supposed to meet a girl and she's like, oh, I can't make it. You know, I'm so sorry. Can we do this another time or whatever? And she's like, hey, can we, you know, get together next week or something? And you're like, all right, cool. So y'all set something up for the next week. And let's say she flakes again, then you need to call that shit a day. Charges to the game, she flaked again, it's done, right? Now, what most guys will do is she'll flake again, and they'll call her again the next week and be like, hey, what's up? You know, can we get together? And she's like, oh, hey, what's going on? And she's like, all right, cool, yeah, let's let's get together. And then you're supposed to get together again, and she flakes again. And then next, you know, they still try to get whatever. I've actually had dudes who emailed me talking about, oh, you know, I've been trying to see this girl. She flaked on me like six times. I'm like, what? Like, what are you, what are you doing? And so by you continuing to try to get with her 
you know, it's making you look needy. And, and by that point, she's just sort of like, dude, like she's lost all respect for you now because she's sort of just flaked on you all these times and you're still trying to uh, get with her. And she's just, you know, playing around and, and using you for attention or whatever. But, you know, she, she keeps flaking on you and you keep accepting that and that makes you look needy, all right? And the thing is overall is that when you're dealing with chicks, right, you're going to look needy when you are basically overextending yourself. You're trying too hard. You're trying too hard to please her, to impress her. You you have this aura of a guy who's scared to you're scared to lose her. So you're trying your best to you know call her every day to make sure that she still wants to talk to you. All this other goofy shit. So the thing is, is that you need to be confident within yourself so that you don't come across needy when you are dealing with these women you feel me so that's pretty much it that's all i want to say for today um guys if you have any questions make sure you click the link below and i'll holler at you later remember the truth is inside you peace i'm gone now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below so you can send me a question and I'll do a video on it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which gives you seven tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And number three, I want you to click the link under that to go to badboymembership.com where you get 45 to 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy Membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com.